I thought you were going to call. What happened? Are you crying? What's wrong? I'm sorry. I can't talk now. Are you sure you're okay? You know, we can talk about it at work tomorrow. I'm not sure I'll be able to go to work tomorrow. Well, you know, I'm not listen. feeling well. Well, okay. Um, you know, you can call me anytime if you need my help, okay? I'll be around. Okay, thank you. I should call. Okay, bye. I'm supposed to go fishing tonight with my father-in-law. I'm tired of fishing every night. I think I'll take a break tonight. Don't worry about your old man. Let him go fishing alone tonight. You should have some fun. Anyway, I'm the one who always carries all the fish. So that's why he always asks me to go. Tonight is my night. Yeah, me too. What do you mean? Every night is your night to be held at the bar? I think you must never go to work. Well, I usually go to work even though I'm late every day. But who cares? Let's go dance. You go. I'll just enjoy my beer.
Why are you so quiet? Are you upset about something? Where were you last night? My father was looking for you. You promised you were going to fish with him. I'm tired of fishing. I needed a break. You could have told my dad so he wouldn't wait around for you. Why do you have to tell him everything I do? When you make a promise to my father, you should keep it. It's disrespectful to make him wait like that. You and your family, you never let me have any time to myself. Your father has too much from me. I'm tired of you breaking promises to my father. Remember the last time you promised to donate some money to buy him a new fishing net? You never did. We didn't have enough money at that time. That's not the only time. You say you would fix his boat and you didn't. It's still sitting broken at his house. Where do you think you're going? Where are you going, Mama? Hello? Julie, is Tony around? He won't be home until late tonight. Okay, I'm coming over. Do you need anything? No. Thank you. Okay, I'll be there soon. some help. If I were you, I would report him to the cops. Look, this is just a family matter. I don't want you to go saying anything to anyone. I don't want Tony to get into trouble. This is just going to add on to our problems. Well, if you don't do it, I'm going to report him. What would your parents say if they were here? That's just it. This, if we lived near my parents, this wouldn't happen. I could go stay with them and no way Tony will beat me if they were near us. Give me that. No, it's mine. Let go. No, it's hey, mine. Stop that. What was I saying? Oh, Tony wouldn't bother me if my parents were here. Ow. What is this? Is this from a plate? Is this what Tony used to hit you? One of the things. Why did you marry him in the first place? Tony was a different person when I met him in the States. I was different too. I wanted to get away from my family and be independent. Now, with all our responsibilities, Tony gets so angry easily. My husband used to be very violent. Finally, my parents decided that we should move closer. They kept their eye on my husband, and now he has cooled down. <coughs> stop! You guys, stop! Why do you have to live here with him? Why not close to your parents? I didn't know I would have problems living with his family. At the time, I wanted to move away. Now I miss home. I'm always by myself, and Tony's out in the bars. And you never go with him. You don't want him dancing with other women behind your back. He doesn't want me to go with him anywhere. And he doesn't want to stay at home with me and our children. He li likes to hang out more with his friends. How can he take care of you and the children if he's out all the time? It must be very hard on you. You know what? You are welcome to join me and my family and friends for a barbecue on Saturday 
and bring the kids. Thank you, Mary. I think we can do that. How come she doesn't answer me? I'm sure she saw me. There must be something wrong. She seems to be hiding her face. I bet that Tony gave her a black eye. It wouldn't be the first time. What, no meat? I gave the last of the meat to your family. That's why I expected you to go fishing with my dad. It's your own fault there is no fish now. You should have known not to give away all the meat. It's not my fault. Besides, the food went to your family. Think about that the next time you decide to go to the bar. Shut up! Stop telling me what to do! Oh, I really messed up. 
What do you mean messed up? Did you have a fight with your father-in-law? No, not him. It's my wife. I lost my temper and hit her. Now she's at her parents' house. Oh, uh, don't worry about it. She'll come back. You know, it's not like that. Her family will expect me to go and apologize before she comes back. You're lucky your wife family doesn't leave her out here. My wife complains all the times. She wants us to move closer to her family. But hey, over my dead body. Anytime I make a mistake, I have to involve the whole family. But you, you get to run around and do whatever you want. You don't have to answer to anyone. That's right. I'm the man of the house. What about you, huh? Don't worry about it. Don't let it bother you. Go dance with some girls. I'm looking for Tony. Did you see him today? I'd like to know if my husband is there. Tony is his name. What? What are you doing here? Who is that girl? What are you doing here? I say who's that girl? Where are the kids? They're in the car. What? You left the kids in the car? No! 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 I'm gonna take him to the station. Please, it's okay. We're going home. Are you sure it's not gonna cause you any more trouble? No, I'll be fine. Please let him go. Well, if you don't wanna press charges, then we can't help you. I'm sorry I called you. I thought that woman needed help. Don't worry about it. This always happens. People call, but the wife refused to press charges. How can we help them if they don't want us to? I know what you mean. I've seen it a lot. Next time, don't listen to the wife. Just take them in. We can't do that. It's up to the woman to press charge. What? You didn't eat at all? What is Rita doing today? I need her to help me sew a dress. She's at her parents' house. Can you tell her to come today? I can't. What do you mean you can't? 
Is she helping her family? No, Mama. She left because she was angry at me. It must be more than that. I bet it's something to do with your drinking. You've been going out with Tony a lot. I slapped her and threw a plate at her. Son, in his whole life, your father never hit me. He respected my family. I'm sure you upset Rita's family now. That means our family have to go with you to apologize. What is going on? Who's going to apologize? Sit down. We need to talk. You are him as a big problem. You are him as a problem with his wife. She left him because he beat her. Do you beat Rita? That poor girl. She takes good care of you. Are you out of your mind? This is an embarrassment. How could you do this to us? Don't you ever think before you ever act? I'm sorry, Dad. Joachim, you have to go and get some banana, some taro, fish, and also go meet your uncle and ask him to come with us. We have to go apologize. Hey, come on, let's go drink, man. Let's go get some beers. I can't. I need to go get my family back. This doesn't happen again. I hope so do.
So I, how have you been, Julie? I don't see you around very much. Julie's having lots of problems with her marriage. Maybe we should help her. I always see your husband out with his friend, and I wonder where you are. Tony goes everywhere without me. He treats me more like a housekeeper than his wife. Wait, does your husband beat you? I still think you should call the police. I'm sure they can help. No, I don't want the policemen to get involved. It's too embarrassing. Don't worry, you're not the only one who fights with your husband. We all have our problems. That's right, especially when they've been drinking. I remember one time my husband and I had an argument over money. He got so mad at me and he picked me up and threw me outside our house. That's why I only talk to him when he's sober. Mama, Mama, I'm hungry. I want a hot dog. We should start eating because the kids are hungry. I've learned to compromise with my husband and it really helps our marriage. How do you compromise? My husband and I used to argue because we both work and I always do all the housework alone. Then we agreed that his sister should help me. And I don't complain when he goes out if he promises to come home early. You're right. I don't think we ever compromise. When it's not around, don't just fret about it. Think of something to keep you busy. You can bring your kids over to play with ours anytime. That's a good idea. I get so frustrated being home alone. I start to worry too much about what Tony is doing. But don't yell at him. Men don't like to be yelled at. I never yell at him. He's the one always yelling at me. Give me that. 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 Don't fight. Play together. What about your in-laws, Julie? Don't they help? I still don't know them very well. I suspect they don't like me so much. Oh, that's unfortunate. In our culture, we need to form a good relationship with both families in order to have a strong support from them. Have you tried spending more time with Tony's family? My husband doesn't bring me there. I'm embarrassed to invite myself. They wouldn't even protect me if he beats me. You can expect their support if you and Tony don't get to know each other's family. What about your own family? When was the last time you visit them? Last Christmas, but that's already 10 months ago. I wish I could see them more often. Tell Tony you need another visit to your parents and he should go with you to meet your parents and the family. No, if he doesn't let you visit more often, you should move closer. It's about time. That will put a stop to his beatings. I'm sure your family will protect you if you live nearby. Oh, thank you all. I'm learning so much from you all today. It makes me feel good just talking to you all. Thank you so much. Anytime, Julie. Anytime.
Mom, this is Julie. Hey, Mom, I haven't talked to you in so long. How is Daddy doing? How is everybody else? Good morning, Tony. You're early today. You usually come in an hour late. You're so quiet. Did something happen? That's not like you, Tony. Did you fight with Julie again? No. She's just not talking to me at all. It's so strange. She usually asks me where I've been the night before. Well, I think it's about time you guys talk. You won't solve your problems by keeping them to yourself. Oh, by the way, the boss put a letter on your desk. Cooking, something smells good in here. How are you, kids? Mm -hmm. Okay. Smells good. I'll tell you what. Why don't we take whatever you're cooking over to my parents' house? We haven't seen them in a long time. Son, we are very glad and very happy to have you for a long, long time we never seen each other. Are you having a good time, Julie? Yes, this is really nice. Maybe we could spend some time visiting my family, Tony. Well... Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. What do you think, son? Huh? That's right. 